Hi everybody, welcome back to Horton's Flower Farm. So today I'm gonna to be showing you how I plant in a small space for a cut flower garden. So as you can see, it needs a little bit of cleanup first. I had actually 500 tulips planted here. So I let them die back, photosynthesize, and now I'm ready to put my annuals in. So first I'm gonna clean up the space. I'm gonna add some dirt, some compost, and then I'm gonna plant in the annual plants. So let's go. Okay, so I'm just going to be adding some organic matter to the top of it. I just want to build it up just a little bit before I add all my annuals. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Okay, so as you can see, not only is it great for the soil, it makes the space re look really nice and neat. So now that it's ready, I'm gonna go over the annuals that I'm planting in. I just wanna show you, so these two plants right here are dahlia plants I put in already. These are ranunculus who may or may not bloom, we'll see. So I'm gonna be planting the annuals around them. Okay guys, so here are the annuals that I'm gonna be planting in. Now it looks like a lot, I'm not gonna be planting all of these. I grew these actually from my farm as backup plants and I have a lot left over, but some are going on the farm. So let me just go over what I'm planting. So I have a tray of gomprina, really ready to go in. Um, this is Celosia. I have some snapdragons here. I have a whole tray, I'm not gonna put it in, of china asters. I have flamingo feather Celosia right here. I have Cosmos over there, blocks back there, and I do have a tray of some zinnias, so those will be going in two zinnias, and I'm probably gonna be direct seeding some sunflowers. So I'm gonna show you how I put them in, how I space them. Okay, let's get to the planting part. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay out um, the seedlings that I have first before I plant them in just to see where they are, see what I like. Um, I found a couple of red spike amaranth right here and actually a couple of lisianthus too, so I'm gonna put them in. So um, I have a lot of stuff, but not all of it's going in because you don't need that much. Because again, you can grow a beautiful small cut flower garden in this space. So now I'm gonna show you how to lay Okay, so I have everything laid out. I just want to talk to you guys about how I spaced it. So I put the um, taller things in the back, <clears throat> like the red spike amaranth. The zinnias are back there along with cosmos. Then I have celosia, flamingo feather celosia. And then the phlox are in the front. They're a little bit shorter. Um, and snap dragons too over here. So yeah, so basically with zinnias, you're supposed to space them about 12 inches apart. I'm doing nine, which is fine. They'll hold each other together because um, I might not net this area, but if everything is tight together, the plants should be able to hold themselves up um, because they're tighter and they'll be more compact. So that's what I'm gonna try out. We're gonna see if it works. So now I'm gonna plant them in. I spaced my flocks and my snapdragons about six inches apart, which is fine. You can space them um, tighter. They don't spread wide as much as the cosmos and the zinnia. So I'm going for a more um, tighter spacing with those flowers.
as you plant them in, you'll see like I planted these that have a spiky egg. I'm going to throw in some more um, gomfrina because they're a good little um, tiny plant. So that'll be good. I mean, they are going to get big, but you know, just judge it. If you have extra space when you start planting, just pick the flowers you think would fit nicely in that. Okay, so let's go over what I planted over here. So I planted five zinnias right here. I planted about six china asters here. About four snapdragons right here over here. Five blocks right here. About three gomfrinas right here. Four flamingo, five flamingo um, feather celosia. Then four celosia behind them. Then three zinnias, I'm sorry, three cosmos right here. And then a couple red spike amaranths there. And again, like I said, these over here are my dahlias. So if you wanna throw in a couple dahlias, that's awesome. And then in this line right here, I'm gonna probably plant a couple sunflowers. So that's the whole tiny little garden, which will grow into big, beautiful flowers. Okay, so I'm all done planting. Everything has went in. That's looking really cute. I'm probably gonna throw in, in this line here, a couple of sunflowers right here, and I'll have my sunflowers. And here it is. So you're gonna watch this um, small cut garden grow, and we're gonna see how many bouquets I can get each week off of them. I think you guys should definitely try this at home. Take a small space like this and see how many flowers you can grow this summer to make beautiful bouquets. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more awesome videos on how to grow beautiful cut flowers and all types of other flowers and perennials. I'll see you guys soon.